Well, we are here on night nine of the great Minnesota get together. One of the most important parts of the state fair is agriculture. But from tariffs to low commodity prices, these have not been the best of times for Minnesota farmers. Tom Lydon has that story for us. It would be easy to think the Minnesota State Fair is all about carnival rides and fried food. But in some of the pavilions behind me are some really fascinating and also heartbreaking stories about the state of Minnesota farming. Hi, do you guys have any questions about the dairy industry? Or about, these are my cows, we're from, I'm from McLeod County. Stroll through to see the animals, but stop and talk to the people. To farmers like Allison Wright, all of 16. And you may be surprised what you hear. So we're, unfortunately, we have to sell out all of our cows. So we, uh, um, our barn holds 55 cows, but I'm sorry. And the tears. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, bud. That follow. But I'm not. <laughs> These are tough times for dairy, have been for five years running now. We produce more milk in this country than ever and drink less and less. In McLeod County, like elsewhere, dairies are getting bigger and bigger. The small guys, like Allison's family, are selling out. I kind of get that because, like, they have to be big so they can survive, but also it's kind of like, you're making me lose my farm, so it's... The 4-H posters reveal the agricultural anxieties. Not just dairy economics, but bovine respiratory disease, mad sheep disease, or the most dreaded of all, African swine fever. Is that the big crisis that hog farmers worry about, is African swine fever in the U.S.? Absolutely. I mean, that's the biggest threat. That's the biggest concern for everybody. If, if we were somehow to get African swine fever here. While not harmful to humans and not in the U.S. yet, it could spread quickly among pigs from snout to snout. But with African swine fever, exports for every country immediately shut off uh, for, from the U.S. So we can send no product outside of the country. The disease has already decimated China, the superpower of pork. More than 350 million pigs have been slaughtered. So when African swine fever hit in China originally, we thought we were going to send a lot of pork to China. Um, well, that market hasn't really materialized. The trade war took care of that. Tariffs have also hurt soybean farmers. One in three Minnesota beans goes to China. Ethanol rollbacks are hurting corn. The list goes on and on. Since 1859, the Minnesota State Fair has been a celebration of agriculture, and there is still plenty to celebrate. But there are more than animals on display here. These are lives and livelihoods, and plenty of reasons to be concerned. I'm picking up that you love dairy. I do. They're like, like people, if I put it into like city terms, like they have their dog, they love their dog. When it dies, they're heartbroken. Well, I have 55 cows in my barn that I won't have anymore. Tom Lydon, Fox 9.